guys, what's up? Inner Mr. Cod here, and today I'm gonna bring you guys my first ever tutorial. Now, this tutorial is on how to mod your Black Ops 1 successfully, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so what you're gonna need first is you're gonna need an external USB device, something that you can carry storage on. For instance, a flash drive, aka known as a memory stick. Now, after you have that, you're gonna want to download Horizon. Horizon and the mod pack, I will provide the links for you in the description. No surveys, nothing. It's awesome. Um, third, you're going to need a second controller. If you don't have a second controller, this monster is not going to work. This is not a troll, guys. This is like 100% legit. As you guys saw in my last two, my, um, if you guys go back two videos, I think, uh, you will see that I have a modded trolling video. So you guys can check that out and check the mods out for yourself and see them not lying. But I'm going to teach you guys how to get those mods. Also, last thing you're going to need is a computer. Okay, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a Black Ops 2, sorry, I apologize guys, a Black Ops 1 saved game on your uh, hard, like your hard drive. Um, if you don't know how to do that, just play Call of Duty Black Ops, go into campaign, start new game and then as soon as you see the flame or you're starting the first mission back out save and quit and you should have it now what you're going to want to do guys you want to go over I'm actually doing this as a live commentary by the way guys so yeah you want to go over uh, to system click on system go to storage go to hard drive go to um, games and apps scroll down to black ops and then scroll down to your saved game and then click on it and then move it to your memory unit or whatever you know, you're using now go to profiles and then go to uh, whatever profile that you are you would like to you have like Xbox Live on or you'd like to play with the mods as and you want to transfer the profile onto your computer sorry onto your USB stick I am messing up a lot guys because this is my first tutorial Kind of, I'm a little nervous and not that good at doing tutorials. But um, after you have that done, you want to unplug your USB and you're going to want to plug it into your computer. And I will see you guys on the computer. Hey guys, so uh, once you're at the computer, what you're going to do is you're going to want to plug in your USB flash drive and you want to download these two fi uh, files Horizon and install it. I'll have the link in the description. And Black Ops mod, uh, Black Ops Zombies mod pack Xbox. Now, uh, the uh, Zombies mod pack will have Horizon in it, but that's a EXE run file. So if you choose to run it, sometimes it can glitch up a little bit and glitch your computer up. I'd prefer installing it like I have here. Um, but yeah. Also, off topic for a moment, my Xbox makes this really shitty sound when it starts playing COD Black Ops. So try to ignore it and yeah, I'll try to do my best to keep it kind of maintained. So um, what you're going to want to do now is once you have it plugged in, you're going to open up Horizon. Let's see here, sweet. And you also want to open up your uh, mod pack. Now what you want to do, if you, if you have your USB device plugged in, there should be this little thing that pops up on the side when you open it. If there's not, then unplug it and replug it in. Uh, if it's still not, then you need to get some problems fixed, and I don't exactly know what to do because each one of you is responsible for your own computer te technical problems. But uh, let's get started. So now what you want to do is you want to click Games, Call of Duty Black Ops. You should have it there, and you want to drag your save game onto the checkered space. Then you're going to go Profiles and then drag your profile onto the checker space also. Now, I like to keep mine organized for time use purposes, but um, it's really easy to do when it's more organized. But now, you're gonna wanna open up the pack. What the heck, my, my horizon just minimized. That was creepy, but okay. Um, so what you're gonna do now is you wanna open up the pack, and you're gonna wanna open Mod Activator 1, drag the profile onto the checker space, and then put it wherever you want. I like to put it up there because it's easy. Then, you, then you're going to uh, go back, open Mod Activator 2, do the same thing for 3 and save game. 
uh, I think when you download this, there will be a text tutorial. Um, so, yeah. Also, if you can. Okay. Yeah, my computer, for some reason, is really uh, kind of in a glitch state right now. So, yeah. But now, what you're going to do is you're going to go uh, click back, save game, drag your SVG save game file out. It's going to be your modded save game. I put it down here so I remember. But what you're going to do then is you're going to want to take your Black Ops 2 save game that you saved from your console and you're going to copy the profile ID using Control C and Control V. Copy is Control C and paste is Control V. Using your uh, your profile ID, put it at the mo as the modded modded. Uh, save the game and your device ID put it in the modded device ID and then uh, console ID console ID same thing now what you're going to want to do is you want to X out of this save game uh, so you can delete it and your device is work and guys I apologize if I'm saying uh, a lot or um it's just this is like my first tutorial and I'm still kind of getting used to how kind of I teach everybody and I usually say um a lot when I teach but I'm working on it a ton it's just kind of a habit so yeah hope you guys understand so now what you're gonna do is you want to copy your device ID only and then put it into the uh, mods activator one two oh I actually copied it that time two and three uh, device IDs. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to go to Device Explorer and then delete your Call of Duty Black Ops save game, your save game, not the modern one, but yours. yours. And now you want to save to the, you want to save the save game to the device, to flash drive. And then all three of the uh, modded for profiles. So mod activator 1, mod activator 2, and mod activator 3. Now also uh you you're probably going to want to click save rehash and resign. What that'll do is that'll make it so when when you actually open the file, then it'll have every all the all the data and like numbers already put in. So like when you open the file from the folder, so yep. But now after you have your uh, three profiles and your Call of Duty Black Ops modded, mm, excuse me guys, uh, modded save game, you're going to want to unplug your USB device while keeping this up for time. Uh, you're gonna to want to keep all this up like this all these profiles and you can accept yours but um you want to save game profiles and everything for time use purposes because if you don't then it's gonna take a shit ton of time to actually get this all opened up and transferred on and everything for the next couple steps so just keep it open guys good it's a good uh, thing to use so now uh, I will see you guys on the Xbox. Peace. Okay, guys, once you're back on the Xbox, uh, with your USB plugged in, with all the mods and everything, uh, just one quick thing I want to say. Some people have actually told me while they were doing it, like some of my close friends, I taught them how. Uh, they have their profiles have been signed out. Guys, it's normal. Don't worry. Your profile isn't modded or banned. Just sign back in, and you're good. So what you want to do is you want to grab your second controller. And just have it near you, ready to go. You want to start and memory unit. Uh, you want to select your memory unit for your storage, or you can go options, select save device. Uh, same thing if you didn't get the memory unit opportunity. And then you're gonna click campaign. You should see resume game. Just click A and yes. Now you just go right in, and I will see you guys once I'm in the save game. So see you there. Okay, guys, I am back. And then, uh, so once you are in the game, you just want to press start on your first controller, and then you're going to bring up your second controller home screen or home menu, Xbox Guide. Then you're going to press X to sign in, and then you're going to sign in as Mods Activator 1. Now, what this is uh, going to do is it's going to bring you up to this, just click the home button, and then on your first controller, resume game. And then on your on your uh, first controller, as you assume the game, don't press B, but press the button left of your Xbox Guide button, which is the back button. 
you should see all these freaking weird numbers up here on your screen. Now that's normal. And then you but you have the first set of mods uh once all those numbers appear on your screen. So uh yeah, you have all you have that first set of mods. But uh once that happens, you can just play around a little bit or you can uh do you can ex save and quit. Uh I would save and quit just for time purposes if you really want to get to these mods on Xbox Live. And yes, guys, I said these are on Xbox Live. I think I already said that in the first time, but yeah, I'm getting a little lost, but uh, excuse excuse my lostiness. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Zombies, Solo, start up a game on Kino Dertoten. Now this doesn't take as long, so I'm just going to wait with you guys. Uh, this doesn't really take that long. But guys, some people have been asking me, are you shitting me or something because you skipped to into the campaign game? I am not, guys. In fact, I just wanted to save time for my video so you guys can actually get to this faster. But um, as you see, once you get in, you're just going to press back and you should see the 60 appear on the top of your screen. Then you can press all these type of buttons, play around with it. And I, I'm just like spamming buttons. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, you can't really shoot. There's uh, you have to get the other mod activators going in to actually shoot and do all that stuff. But don't get, don't sign into other mod activators yet because there's some stuff we we need to do. But once you do that, you just press your Xbox Home button, quit the quit it, and then after you quit it, uh, you should be good. So now, once you quit it, you're just gonna wait here at your campaign, at your like menu, and you're gonna sign out of your of your second controller's mod activator one. Now, again, guys, we're going to have to uh, unplug our USB and go right back to the computer. And I am just gonna set my controller down and do that. So, guys, I will see you on the computer. Okay guys, once you have your USB device plugged back in to your computer um, after doing the solo zombies thing and the campaign thing, uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, have everything on the side there, open up Horizon, and then just keep these open, and then click save to flash drive, Oh, and then click save, and then click overwrite, and then click OK. For, for all of these, including the save game, so every single profile, as you can see here, just follow my steps. Uh, don't even X out of Horizon yet. But um, once you've done that, you're just going to unplug your USB. Now, um, as what you saw, what you saw what I did there was uh, re, like, refresh the mods. Now, you have to do this after every Zombies game, solo or Xbox Live. Or else your mods are not gonna work and it's gonna get canceled and shit. So guys, you got you guys got to keep this up. Well, you don't have to, but it's really, really, really fast if you keep this up. And you, if you would like to, then you're gonna get these mods done way quicker. I assure you that. But um, just keep this whole horizon up, and I will talk to you guys back on the Xbox. Okay guys, now that was pretty much the last step. Uh, now we're on the Xbox here. That was pretty much the last step. Now you're just going to go to Zombies, Xbox Live, once you have your USB device plugged in, of course, and have your Xbox controller nearby, just in case. Um, but, as you can see, my clan dags shit. <laughs> uh, yep. So, uh, also, it can be, I think it can be Cunt, 3 arc, and Fuck. I'm not sure. But, uh, you, so, uh, what you do is you're just going to go find match. Make sure you guys do not click private match. I cannot stress this, this a fucking enough. Make sure you do not fucking click private match. I want to make that loud and clear right now. Because if you do, because of the wired fix, it will disable all your mods and you'll have to do the whole thing from scratch again. I advise you don't do that. Um, you can go five match. It can be on any map, even classic zombies. Any and one of these maps I'm scrolling over is okay to uh, play zom this mod of zombies on. But uh, I'm gonna skip until I get into a game. I'm just going to play a game on five, uh, so I can show you guys like the Winter's Howl and the 
no, no, actually Ascension, because I can get the Thunder Gun, the Winter Tower, uh, sorry, the Thunder Gun, and the Ray Gun, Boat, and the Death Machine, all on that map, that's like the one of the only maps that you can, I can do that on, but, also, there is a control, like, a control, uh, manual list on how, like, what button bindings there are on, on your controller, uh, that will include, that will be included in the Black Ops Zombies Mod Pack Xbox, if you just go back and then click the README 3, uh, version 3 touch controls or whatever, um, it will have the, it'll have the worded text tutorial on how to download it, and it'll have every, like, every single command and button knife that you can use. Um, now, I have, have not memorized these for myself yet, but just saying, you you probably hear, you probably see me stop and kind of walk forward and then stop again. It's just because I'm like looking at the button binding and I'm like, okay, that's it. But um, also, uh, another thing, you can be banned. I'm not responsible for any bans at all so just know that and uh i'm going to skip into the um the until i get into a lobby so i will see you guys there peace okay guys i am back and i am loading into a game with four players doesn't matter if you have split screeners regular players or four players just have all you gotta do is play a public match but no, no matter what map no matter what number of players or anything but guys, just a quick tip. You guys would probably want to have a good internet because if you're host, you can have like give everybody unlimited ammo. You can do things that you couldn't do. Like sometimes you have to wait a while, like wait like a couple, like a second or two, for to like activate disable no clip or activate God mode or something. But so yeah. Okay. So what you're gonna want to do once you load in is I think somebody left that's why it's taking so long because normally it doesn't take this long. But uh what you gonna do what you gonna what you gonna wanna do guys I apologize I am talking very fast. Um what you gonna wanna do is when you get into the game right here yeah uh you're just gonna wanna sign in with wanna open up the Xbox save dashboard and you wanna sign in with to mods activator one, two and three Sign out and sign in. Deactivate mods. Yeah, just do what I'm doing. I apologize, guys. I am horrible with words. Not my first choice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so mods activator two, and then sign out, and then permanently stay signed in to mods activator three. So. Okay. So now once you are signed in, um. Do not press back. You will want to press back in just a second. Now let me just pull up my sheet here. You want to press D-pad right, and then right bumper, and then if you and if you press God mode and then like off and on a lot, uh, and it like works every time. You press right bumper. Then that means you're host. If it doesn't, that means you're not host. But after you turn God mode on, you want to press back on your on your um, controller, not the B button again, just the button next to the Xbox guide button. And then you should see that uh, little 60 mark thing. And then, um, yeah, and then you can just play around with the mod menu. Now, uh, it's not really a menu, it's just button bindings. But it's really fun. As you can see, I've got mode, I cannot be harmed. I can give myself a ton of weapons. Now, guys, um, this, I'm just going to play some footage. I'm going to put this footage on with a little bit of of music so you guys can enjoy and see some of the stuff that you could norm you could not normally do but uh thank you guys for watching my tutorial and I am going to from here mute my mic or do whatever and uh, just mute the track and put on some music so I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys really enjoyed like comment and subscribe for more mods and tutorials and gameplays now, I really apologize. This was my first tutorial, and hopefully you guys got it all, but if you guys didn't, I might redo this in the future just for um, kind of listening purposes. Um, 
But yeah, everybody's like, whoa, you have mods and everything. Some people will leave. But as you can see, I can't be attacked. And yeah, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah!